engine on Phoenix is underneath the steer arm in the companion wheel and it is a Yanmar engine diesel powered okay to check the oil on the engine on Phoenix the dipstick is really easy to access on the uh, forward port side what you want to do is get a bit of tissue get your dipstick lift it out right to the end give it a good wipe down dip it back in leave it for a couple of seconds let it settle and re-read it what you should find is the oil is between the, the mark point at the top and the bottom in this case that's a pretty good reading give it a quick wipe back in and just to double check you can repeat that the coolant boxes uh, are at the back there um, so you need to check that uh, it's topped up it should be topped up on every charter so it shouldn't be a problem and just above that we have the water strainer uh, up here to make sure that the uh, water is going through the engine to cool it make sure that, that uh, is actually being processed check for the water coming out of the exhaust once the engine is running obviously we've got the belts as well for uh, for the engine so make sure that they are nice and tight you shouldn't have to adjust those and um, they will be checked before your charter The gearbox is located at the back of the engine, the dipstick for that is located on the top, you shouldn't have to play with that anyway, um, but if you do need to check the, the gearbox for any reason, uh, unscrew the dipstick and check, uh, give it a wipe with a tissue, just sit it on the top of the gearbox, then take it out and check the line, if it's uh, within uh, parameters it should be fine. Fire extinguishers within the, the engine compartment are automatic so you shouldn't have to do anything with those. Before you check the engine there is a handy pre-check guide here uh, located within the nav table so if you need to uh, be reminded of uh, how to do these checks it's all on here. <laughs> 